diabetes. Sleeve gastrectomy is a surgical procedure mainly for weight loss and control of type 2 diabetes. In this video we will find out about its long-term benefits and risks. In this cartoon of the stomach you can see how the stomach has been divided so that its continuity is preserved however its volume has been reduced by up to 80 percent. The trajectory that the food takes is still maintained but the volume of the stomach is drastically reduced. Great majority of the patients report increased mobility, improvement in self-esteem and improvement in their mental health. In terms of the weight loss benefit, this is calculated as cess weight loss. This is the amount of weight that each patient needs to, to lose for they enter the surgical program. For sleeve gastrectomy, after one year this is 80% and it decreases as the years go by at three, five, and eight years. This is through a study of over a thousand patients, and these figures are dependent on long-term diet and exercise regimen of each patient, as well as their motivation. In terms of type 2 diabetes, after one year, two-thirds of the patients will have a complete resolution of their diabetes, and this will be improved in the great majority of the rest of the patients, or it will remain stable in a small minority. This effect is maintained at five years with 50% of these patients not requiring any treatment for diabetes and the great majority avoiding the use of insulin at that sort of a time scale. These figures are highly variable depending on each patient's circumstances, their level of diabetes, and their motivation for weight loss and control of their diabetes. The risk of free intervention, that is, another surgical procedure, is about one in five or a bit less than that. Principal causes over the long term are worsening of the reflux. There is a gradual weight gain over the long term dependent on each patient and their motivation. However, at times, the, the gastric sleeve may become dilated and thus lose its ability to prevent weight gain. And finally, it is also possible for this tube that is formed for it to for it to become stenosed or there might be a technical problem with the initial operation that introduces a bit of a twist. In that case, there might be an inability to tolerate solids and patients start reporting high volumes of reflux and vomiting. Finally, one in five patients who've had a bariatric surgical procedure Will developed gallstones. This proportion can be reduced to 7% by giving a medication called ursodeoxycholic acid six months once the procedure is performed. Uh, that said, removal of the gallbladder may be necessary in up to a fifth of the patients over the long term. In terms of nutrition, patients are instructed to take adequate amounts of macronutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins and fat. However, vitamin deficiencies are very common in bariatric or overweight patients before the operation and they tend to assist after the operation as well. Specifically those associated with sleeve gastrectomy are vitamin D, vitamin B1, vitamin B12, folate, iron and calcium deficiencies. Patients are advised to replenish these over the long term. Specific tests may be performed as a one-off at the time of entry into the program as well as calcium bone density and then to maintain a healthy diet in the long term. Three operations generally related to the sleeve gastrectomy include those for reflux or weight gain and typically the sleeve gastrectomy gastrectomy is converted to a ruin y gastrectomy. In up to 15% of the patients after the initial sleeve gastrectomy, a reintervention or reoperation may be required. Typically, as I previously mentioned, these are for reflux or weight gain, and the recommended general operation is converting a sleeve into a ruin y gastric bypass, thus reducing the volume of the stomach and converting an ineffective operation to another bariatric procedure which aids both for reflux and prevents excess weight gain in the long term. Removal of gold that is another operation they may be required in between 15 to 20 percent of the patients over the long term and finally in bariatric or obese patients formation of incisional hernia may require attention this is the sites where the ports have been inserted or where the specimen has been removed from a laparoscopic procedure or from other surgical procedures this completes this brief video on the long-term benefits and risks of sleep gastrectomy I, I hope you found it of use if you have any comments please do share